Alright, hello. Um, got just a quick video today. Uh, now I know Ant done this um, a while back. Uh, he actually came out of mine and saw one of these. Um, they're actually um, rolling pins. Uh, and he was like, oh I want one of them, I want one of them. So I actually bought him one as a gift. And I never actually tried to experiment them out, experiment out myself. So today I have got my 50k, no, 10kb. 50 milliamp and my vacuum yeah my bench is messy but I'm still in the process of sorting stuff out so um, basically I'm just going to switch the sound transformer on give it a vacuum and watch what happens and then I might try a video later when it's dark because I've got lots of lovely sun coming through the window at the moment so anyway I'll switch the transformer on and then go for the uh, vacuum the transformer's on and as you can hear, the vacuum is on. Let's see what happens. If anything at all. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a very faint and lots of uh, corona around around the actual electrode itself. Some interesting stuff going on there. That is sort of pulsing. I don't know if you can see the pulse. I'll switch the uh, vacuum off. Yeah, and it's still doing it. We've got some really interesting pulsing that looks like it's almost on the camera, but it's not. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's a really strange effect. And if you can see that, all those like lines, they look like waveforms. Um, and I've not seen that effect ever before. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on again. Yeah, I'm still getting that same pattern. Very, very strange. Try vacuuming it a bit more. And then the vacuum won't restart itself, so I'm going to have to turn the transformer off. And just let some air out. And then start the vacuum off again. That was a very, very strange effect. But as I say, I haven't tried this before, so it's all uh, trial and error. Oh! Okay, so we've got a nice beam coming up there, and it seems the stronger the vacuum gets, the more of a sort of like plumes from that end. You can see that running around the electrode there. But what you can see through the camera is what I can see in real life. All those spikes and sparks, they are actually there in real life. It looks like you can actually see the waveform. I mean, this could kill my sign transformer, to be honest. I'm not really too bothered if it does. But that is very, 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 very strange. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, wow. There we go. The vacuum has just lost itself. So the vacuum just lost by heating itself up and sucking itself into the end there. A bit of reinforcement on the end. So it would seem that um, under full vacuum you don't get that line across that you just saw at the end there. That was as the air actually rushed back into the tube which I didn't actually expect to see. So yeah, that's some uh, pretty interesting results there. I honestly, honestly thought that under full vacuum I'd see more of that beam going across the middle. But it would seem the more and more under pressure it gets, uh, which is to about 27.5 inches of mercury, the more erratic the, the actual pattern gets. So, but anyway, I shall uh, leave that set up and... Uh, 
try and sort this end out again, try and seal it back up. The tape's only holding the wire on, it's not actually holding the nuts on. And uh, try and get a better seal at that end, because obviously I would have said that's probably got hot. Yeah, that end's, that end's really hot. And that end's not really hot at all, but this end is really hot. So yeah, anyway, interesting little experiment. Um, Maybe try running it off the Variac next time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, maybe try running it ballasted. So maybe we get some more volts and less amps out of it. To see what happens. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I shall speak to you again soon. Hopefully with a new camera that might be better than this one. So I might be able to get some better pictures. Alright then, thanks. Cheers. Bye.